Hi everyone and welcome to this knowledge clip on theories of international migration. And today I will discuss labor market segmentation theories um, which explain uh, why migrants get attracted to certain destination countries. Labor market segmentation theories are actually theories that also debunk one of the biggest myths, one could say, that exists uh, on international migration, namely that international migrants would take away jobs from natives, uh, which also explains why we have certain hostilities sometimes against migrants in some destination uh, societies. And to understand why this is not the case and why migrants move, we have to look at the distinction that has been made by sociologists, particularly uh, in the 70s, between a formal capital intensive segment of the labor market and the informal labor intensive segment of the labor market. So labor market segmentation approaches, they generally depart from the idea or start from the idea that the labor market can be divided into two main segments. On the one hand, you have this formal capital intensive segment, which is the primary labor market. That's also a name that they often give to this, which means that this is uh, the segment of the labor market where you have stable jobs, where you have good salaries, where you have a lot of social security. So these are the jobs that many people want to have, one could say. And then secondly, we have the informal labor intensive part of the uh, labor market, the secondary labor market. And this is where we see much more um, manual work, for example, lower salaries, not a lot of security, um, also very dangerous conditions sometimes where people have to work in uh, when you get fired, you don't have any uh, insurance that can cover up for your lost expenses. So there is a big difference between the primary, formal, and the informal or the secondary segment of the labor market. So that is a basic sociological idea that Marxist sociologists in particular uh, put forward. And they say that is something that we can find in many different labor markets around the world because they say the secondary segment of the labor market is important because with kind of discriminatory short-term contracts where you don't have to pay people for endless periods of time uh, once they get fired, the capitalist economies have a reserve army that they can kind of simply dismiss once the economy goes down and which they can then again use to, um, to attract once the economy is going up. And then you have Michael Piore, who wrote a book, Birds of Passage, which was published in 1979. And he indicated that actually this uh, segmented labor market idea is applicable to international migration because he indicates the local population very often is not willing to do the jobs in the secondary segment anymore. Think about the guest worker period after the Second World War, when we had uh, a lot of jobs that became available in the mines, in the metal industries, so very heavy industries, uh, very physical intensive jobs, very bad for your health. The local population, which was increasingly educated, did not want to have these jobs anymore. But so migrants very often are willing to take the jobs in the secondary labor market because for them, the pay anyhow is higher compared to the pay that they would have at home. And so for them, it's an interesting uh, thing to do to move uh, to the secondary labor market of another country. And so according to Michael Piore and other segmented labor market uh, theorists, migration exists because of the existence of the secondary labor market, whereby migrants get systematically um, exploited. But because of the fact that there is this income differential, still the secondary labor market is very interesting and attractive for them. Uh, to move towards. So that, in a nutshell, is um, what segmented labor market theory is about. I hope you enjoyed this knowledge clip.